What up YouTube, coming at y'all with a quick video. Actually gonna tear this C7 apart right here behind me. Uh, we're at a little standstill on the Trans Am content, so I uh, got a little cam job to do. I was just gonna knock it out and get it done, but you know, hey, since I'm waiting on the Trans Am, might as well give y'all some content. So let's go ahead, dive into this car and get it done. Come in for a cam problem. I know it has a built motor in there. I think it has an iron block from what I know. It's got a Air Force intake and all that. So. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing actually torn down tonight. So tomorrow you can get the heads to the machine shop and just check everything out and see. It's making a lot of noise on the lifter side. A little dusty, but it's all right. I don't wanna, come on. Big body bands, remember I used to be dusty. Now I want my money. Hopefully it just needs the cam and the lifter and that's all it is. But until I get the cylinder heads off, it's hard to determine you know what actually is going on with the thing it does run but it just makes a lot of noise All right, so I just got the intake manifold off and the little air intake with all the little breather lines that connect to the valve cover. So I'm gonna go ahead, start taking the valve covers and the coil packs, all this stuff on both sides off, get all the fuel stuff out, the fuel pump off, uh, get this fuse box out the way, start getting the alternate, the rest of these accessories out of my way to get to that cam right there in the middle. All right, so we got the valley cover off, we got the valve covers off, we got pretty much the top end, the injectors, the pump and all that out. We're gonna go ahead and get the rocker arms off, get the headers out, spark plugs out, the water pump off, all that stuff out of the way, start pulling the head bolts out. We're getting there, but we do gotta get it up in the air and I'm gonna drain the coolant and the oil out as much as I can out to try to prevent a mess if possible. I gotta disconnect the headers down below. <laughs> From the full exhaust and then I'll pull the headers down once I get the spark plugs and stuff out. All right, so we're gonna get the rack loose. We're gonna get the oil drained. We're gonna get the coolant drained out. Oh, we're gonna have to cut the exhaust, unfortunately. Please, exhaust shops, please stop welding the headers together. I mean, bro, look at this. What the hell is even that? Like, come on, family. We gotta do better. Well, gonna get the saws out. Let's go ahead and get this tackled.
right, so we got all the accessories off. I'm gonna go ahead and get the heads pulled off. All right, so you can see we got the heads off. I do have a lifter stuck in the block. Um, as you can see, it's stuck in there. I'm just gonna call it a night for tonight. I got both cylinder heads off. Um, and I actually did find the problem lifter here. One of them, that other one's stuck too, but actually this one was in, uh, what was that? 135 cylinder five. So, unfortunately, uh, you can see it's stuck down, and this was the misfire. All right, if you compare it to one in good condition, you can see it's way up, and then the one that's collapsed, you can see it's way down. So, there was the problem child there. So, we'll clean everything up, uh, get all this extra silicone off. I don't know who puts silicone on water pump gaskets, but please don't do that. And please don't weld exhaust together. Headers come with flanges for a reason. It's supposed to be removed at some point, not have to be cut off and re-welded. But we'll call it there for this video. We'll continue part two of pretty much the put together. You guys can hear it before and after the lifter tick versus it running real good. Just wanna ensure that we can get that lifter out and that bore is not damaged because if it's damaged, this motor has to come out.